Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Natasha. If it is your first time here, today's video I'm going to be sharing with you my recent beauty favorites. I have some skincare, I have some body, I have some makeup. So if you're interested in this video, just keep watching. Now close your eyes. I got this like little stain here on my shirt and I don't know where it came from. I hope I just spilled a little water on myself and it will dry and go away. But let's go ahead and get started. I have lots of stuff here. I have some body stuff, some skincare, some makeup. I want to start with, hmm, let's start with body just to get that out of the way. The first thing I want to share with you guys is this right here. This is a body wash. I picked this up from Target. This is Method Body Acai Mulberry Goji Berry Berry Balance Body Wash. Now, I've been using this for about a month now. I feel like I've been really wanting to try out different body washes. I've been using the same one for a few years now, so I've been wanting to just kind of branch out. So I picked up this guy. I love the way it smells. It smells like Fruit Loops or something. It just has like a really nice, sweet, fruity smell to it. It lathers up so nicely. I need a body wash that has like a really thick, luxurious lather to it. And I love that. Something really cool about this body wash that is one of the reasons why I picked it up is it is plant-based. On the back here it says it is biodegradable, made without parabens or phthalates, cruelty-free, and the bottle is 65% recycled plastic, which is awesome. I really like like the whole message behind the brand. I think this is super cute. It smells really good. I've used it with a loofah. I've used it without a loofah and it has lathered up both times really well. It doesn't irritate my skin. It does have a strong fragrance, but the fragrance doesn't last on your skin very long, which is something that like I don't really mind because I put on lotions and perfumes and oils and stuff that I'm okay with it smelling really strong in the shower and not really like lingering for very long. Like I don't need the smell to stay very long because I'm already putting on too many smells anyways. If they all mix, I feel like it would just be like gross. Also, my nails right now. How did these on both hands were the ones that completely chipped off? I was too lazy to paint them before this, but this body wash, super cute, really like it. I like the container. I like the lid on it. Sometimes like the lids on body washes are so janky and they break off in like the first couple days. This is a really nice lid. I haven't had any issues with it. You need such a tiny amount, like literally like a dime size and it is more than enough for your whole entire body. Hasn't irritated my skin at all. Feels really good. Smells really good. It doesn't leave that like, have you ever tried a body wash or like a bar soap and it leaves that like waxy, like tough feeling all over your skin? I hate that. This is not like that at all. It leaves your skin feeling really moisturized, really hydrated, really soft. It's just fun. And they have a bunch of other fragrances. I picked up this one because I love a good fruity smell, but they have a bunch of them at Target. I'm not sure if this is like a Target brand or not. I feel like it is, but I could definitely be wrong. And I just think it's so cute that on here it says, <laughs> made by and for people against dirty. We don't want no smellies. We don't want no dirties, okay? Wash your legs, wash your body. It's a good body wash. The next thing I want to talk about is some deodorant. These are native deodorants. You guys, the native deodorant is fire. If you are looking to transition over into a more natural deodorant, I highly recommend native. Now these are deodorants, they aren't antiperspirants, so it's not going to help you sweat less. It's just going to, you know, mask the BO smell. It's just going to be there to help with that. You're still going to be sweaty, but you're going to smell good. The scents I have here are eucalyptus and mint. This one is amazing. God, it smells so good and so fresh and so minty. And then I have this one here in bergamot and pine. I love this one too. This one smells like a men's cologne to me. These are both technically men's fragrances. I got these in the men's deodorant section. They have a bunch of more feminine smells as well. I personally have always liked men's deodorant because I like the smell better. I'm not a huge fan of like vanilla deodorant or you know like baby powder smell. That's just not me. These I love. Now they are deodorants, not antiperspirants, so they aren't going to like completely stop you from sweating, blocking you from sweating. You're going to still sweat a little bit, but you're going to smell good. I haven't had any issues with these with 
irritating my underarms. Sometimes, like, I don't know about you, but like the day I shave, especially, like some deodorants will really irritate my armpits right after I shave, and I never have any issues with these. Leaves me smelling good all day. The fragrance is strong enough that throughout the day, like if I lift my arm or if I'm doing something, I kind of get like a whiff of it, and I'm like, ooh, I smell good. Like, I really, really like these. I highly recommend these. Very low ingredients. They are a little bit more expensive. I will say they are a little bit more expensive than a standard like Dove deodorant, Secret deodorant, but I think it's definitely worth it. Aluminum free, paraben free. They have so many smells, so many. Like literally I think like 10 in the women's section and 10 in the men's section. Check these out, especially if you're looking for a new deodorant. They're great. They last a pretty long time too. It's just a standard looking deodorant. There isn't like a gel one or anything. It's just these guys and I am super, super into them. So this next product, I actually got it for Spencer for his stocking this Christmas. It was like a little thing I just threw in there. I picked this up at Target in the men's section. This is the Duke Cannon Bloody Knuckles Hand Repair Balm. So this is just what it says. It is a balm and it is for using on your hands. It says it's formulated to repair the hands of workers, fighters, and world champions. So Spencer does construction, so his hands kind of get beat up and he loves this. He told me like the day after Christmas, like, oh my God, this is amazing. I have been using this on my elbows and my knees. I work out at home and the carpet just like tears up my kneecaps and my elbows. And I've been putting this on here and it is so amazing. It almost has like a whipped formula to it, but it is a balm. It doesn't leave like a greasy residue. It doesn't pill up. It doesn't get weird at all. It sinks into your skin and it's almost like you can instantly feel it repairing that moisture barrier on your skin. It has like a nice thick whipped feeling to it. You guys, this is amazing. My hands have been so dry lately. You know, I think everyone's has with like COVID and washing your hands a lot more. This stuff is amazing. I'm pretty sure it was like under $10 and Spencer and I both use it every single day and we haven't even gone through it yet. It is so amazing. If you are struggling with really dry hands, really dry elbows, anything like that, I highly, highly recommend this, especially because it doesn't leave a greasy residue. Sometimes I hate putting lotions and stuff on my hands because I hate when my hands feel really greasy. This doesn't do that at all. It is so nice, so great. I, I don't even know what to say about it. If you are dealing with, you know, dry dryness, check this out. The Duke Cannon Bloody Knuckles. I've been using it like every single day. It is so amazing, so nice. And it doesn't have a smell to it. There's zero fragrance to it at all. So if you are wanting to get this for uh, your significant other or if you just don't really like fragrances, I think this is amazing. Next we have this guy right here. This is the Bliss Clear Genius Clarifying Gel Cleanser. Now you guys may have heard me talk about the Bliss Clear Genius Toner Serum. I love that. That has been helping with my face breakouts so much. But I picked up this face wash, not for my face, but for my body. Recently I have been struggling with some body acne and I don't really feel like people talk about body acne. Like I was doing a lot of research, I couldn't really find any recommended products. So I picked this up here and I have been using this every morning after I get done working out in the shower. I put some on my chest and I put it kind of on the top of my back in the shoulder area. Just, you know, use it like a face wash, a body wash, rinse it off. And it has really, really been helping. It has a really nice thick gel formula to it, but it does sets up really nicely. It's not irritating my chest or my back at all. And I found that it has been helping with the acne that I've been getting. And you know, with summer coming and wearing more revealing tops, I've been kind of feeling insecure about that. And I'm really happy that this has been helping. So if you have been struggling with body acne, I know this isn't like advertised as being for the body, but it's been working great on my chest and back. So I definitely do recommend the Bliss Clear Genius line. I've tried a couple of the different products from the Clear Genius line and I have been so, so happy with them. And I just keep this in my shower, literally. So easy to use. So next we have this Tatcha The Rice Wash Face Wash. I love this. I picked this up as like a splurge item. Tatcha skincare is ridiculously expensive and I've never actually owned a full-size Tatcha product in until this. I don't know why, something about it. I was just really intrigued by it. I picked it up. I don't use this every single day. I've been using this about 
three days a week because it is slightly exfoliating. This is a pH neutral cream cleanser with rice and hyaluronic acid that gently purifies while moisturizing. It's for normal to dry skin. The only complaint I have about it is it does have a pretty strong fragrance almost like lemony super strong fragrance and I can see how if you are sensitive to fragrances that could irritate your skin or that can just kind of irritate your nose I haven't had any irritations with it but every time I use this my skin feels so baby soft it feels so amazing my neck and my face just literally like a baby's butt so soft I've been really really loving this like I said I haven't had any irritation anything like that I've been using it like three days a week in place of an exfoliator and it has been amazing 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 definitely worth the splurge i think and sephora's vib sale is coming up in spring i believe it's happening next month so if you are interested in this i would put it in your cart now and then use your discount for it a little bit later i have two different moisturizers here from the same brand these are from naturium which is suzanne yara's brand she is like a skincare guru on youtube and instagram and she recently had come out with her own brand that is available in target these are more of like a high-end price i would say they're about twenty dollars a jar and whew, I have been loving these. I have this one right here, which is the Plant Ceramide Rich Moisture Cream that I actually just finished up today. There's like hardly one face's worth left in there. This is a beautiful, heavy moisturizing cream. I liked using this at nighttime. It really, really helped with some dryness I've been getting around my mouth and kind of in my forehead area. Not a strong scent to it at all. It just feels really, really nice. I've even used this under makeup a few times and it worked totally fine. No pilling up, no creasing, no weirdness. So, so nice. Not a strong fragrance to it at all. It feels so amazing on your face and the plant ceramides really help to rebuild that moisture barrier on your skin, which is kind of like a thing that everyone's been talking about lately is like moisture barrier, moisture barrier, moisture barrier. And that is something you really want to take care of in your skin. When that gets broken up, it can really cause a lot of acne, dryness, other skin irritations, and you want just like a nice heavy moisturizer like this to kind of hold everything in, to hold your skin's natural oils in and help your skin, you know, kind of harmonize the way that it should be. And I have just been really, really loving this guy. Also, there is the Niacinamide Gel Cream. Now, this is a gel style moisturizer, so it is a lot more lightweight amazing i definitely recommend this if you have oily skin as well a gel moisturizer tends to be better for those with oily skin now this is one that i've only been wearing on like no makeup days it's very lightweight it feels like a drink of water for your skin it just soaks right in and leaves your skin like this nice dewy kind of glowy look to it not a scent on this one either i really appreciate that neither of these moisturizers had a fragrance in it not that it like really irritates my skin too much but i just don't really see the point of a fragrance you know what I mean? Like I just don't really care to have my moisturizers smell like really fruity or really floral like that does nothing for me. So I am happy this doesn't have a fragrance. Niacinamide I know is really good for helping, you know, your skin cells repair themselves and helping with cell turnover. This is not like an exfoliating type of moisturizer. This is definitely just a basic nice gel style moisturizer really good for no makeup days for me. I have worn makeup over this and it went totally fine. I've mixed other products on top of this and it was totally fine, but I definitely recommend this if you have more of an oily complexion. Very nice, very hydrating, sinks right in really fast. Been loving Naturium. And like I said, I get that at Target. Okay, I have one last skincare product and then we'll move on to makeup. This is the Tula Skincare Protect and Glow Daily Sunscreen and Gel SPF 30 with UVA and UVB protection. I have just been, you know, testing out new sunscreens. Summer's coming up. We're going to definitely be needing to wear sunscreen every day, regardless, no matter what. Even if you're indoors, you need sunscreen, okay? This one is really, really nice. It is really lightweight. It has a nice dewy finish to it. I find that a lot of sunscreens have like a matte powdery finish and I just don't like that. My skin is already dry. I don't want a matte finish to it. I want a more glowy finish. And this is actually... I think like the first Tula skincare product I've actually really tried and I really, really like it. It is really lightweight. It goes on really nicely. It does leave such a beautiful glow to your skin. It has a slight yellow tint to it, but 
not enough to really like do anything I feel like I feel like it doesn't really camouflage anything it doesn't really leave like a tint on your skin at all it's more of just the color of the product so amazing I haven't had any issues with this at all sometimes certain sunscreens don't mix well with moisturizers they don't mix well with makeup like they kind of pill up they kind of get weird this is amazing I haven't had any issues at all and I've used it with a bunch of different moisturizers I've used it with makeup without makeup it is so nice it's not irritating to the eyes a lot of sunscreens can cause eye irritation I have had zero issues with it all I've had zero issues with this it doesn't even have that like traditional sunscreen smell which I personally love that smell like I would wear like sunscreen smell as a perfume it doesn't have that smell to it no fragrance to it so amazing if you are looking for a glowy sunscreen I highly recommend this I picked this up at Target they have a huge Tula section and I believe they have other sunscreens as well if you're not looking for a dewy one but if you are looking for a glowy sunscreen this is amazing I love that it's in a little squeeze bottle it's easy to use goes on really nicely it feels great yes sunscreen forever all right moving on to makeup the first thing I want to talk about is actually these brushes this is a brush set I purchased from Lunar Beauty um, I think last year like the very end of last year these came out I got all how many brushes of these seven of these brushes for $35 in a bundle which is such an amazing deal that's so affordable for seven brushes about five dollars brush amazing quality brushes I have washed these multiple times I honestly think that these are even better than some morphe brushes or like Sigma brushes I have I haven't had any of the hairs getting like you know sometimes you wash a brush and all the hair goes like like crazy none of those issues at all no hairs falling out no like weird sharp hair that pokes you while you're doing your eyeshadow or anything I love the style of these brushes this one in particular I have really been liking this is the LBE 7 you can buy these uh, brushes individually as well as in the set. This is just like the perfect size brush to hit my lower lash line here. It is so amazing. They are so soft. There's nothing worse than using an eyeshadow brush and having it be scratchy and having it hurt your eyes. I hate that. These are so amazing. So, so amazing. If you are looking for a brush set, these are honestly every brush you would ever need for any eye look I think the brushes themselves are really beautiful the black to white ombre so gorgeous they have a nice weight to them I mean they're so affordable these are literally the eyeshadow brushes I've just been using every day they're just sitting right here in front of me it's easy like I said every brush style that you could ever need I highly highly recommend these these are so amazing I was shook and I'm still shook I love these you guys this product right here this is the Auric Glow Lust Radiant Luminizer. Oh my god, this is so amazing. I have been using it every single day since I got it. I haven't used my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. This guy right here, you've only heard me talk about it a million times, okay? I haven't used it since I got this. This is literally like the same product but glowier okay no shimmer no glitter no chunks it is just a beautiful lightweight skin I wouldn't even call it a tint just like a skin luminizer you can use it under all your makeup which is what I have on today as like a primer I also have it on my chest here you can use it over your makeup as a liquid highlighter you can mix it in with foundations this is so amazing first of all I just love the component the component is very heavy very luxurious very high-end I love that the product itself I mean it is perfection when you don't have makeup on when you have a full face of makeup on it is gives your skin this most beautiful glow from within I'm radiant like this all the time sexy glow I am obsessed with it I cannot stop using it I have mine in the shade Selenite, which is the second to lightest shade. It is still a very fair shade. It just has a little bit of a yellow tint to it, which works better for my skin tone. This is so amazing. If you are a fan of glowy primers, like the Hollywood Flawless Filter, like the Becca Backlight Priming Filter, which is no longer going to be since Becca is going out of business. If you are into like, I believe NYX has one as well, like a glowy primer. This will change your world. This is so amazing, so glowy mixes well with everything 
mixes on top of things well. I mean, it is just like amazing. Like it's literally glow in a bottle and I'm obsessed with it. I love it. I need it in my life. I can never go without it. I just like, I love it. I love it so much. You guys know I'm about the glow, the glow from within, the skin glow, the radiance. This is it. This is hot. You need this in your life right now. I'm starting to think that this is more of like an oil style stain than water, seeing as it's not going away. What are you gonna do? I have another product here from Auric that I have just been so obsessed with. This is the Smoke Reflect Cream and Powder Eyeshadow Duo in the shade Defiance. See this glitter I got going on on my lid right here? This beautifulness, that is this here. This is the powder only on my eye in Defiance. The most beautiful gold glitter. Now, you guys have heard me say it a million times. I'm not a huge fan of glitter. I don't like that it goes all over my face. I don't like that it gets in my eyes. I don't like that it's a pain in the ass to take off. When I tell you this is the best glitter topper product I have ever used, I mean it. It is so beautiful and reflective. I put this on just with my finger. Zero fallout. Zero. I have used this so many times. You don't get fallout all over your cheeks. You can even go in with an eyeshadow brush afterwards and it doesn't fall out all over the place. It doesn't fall into my eyes. It comes off so easily with a little bit of Bioderma. It is just like so beautiful. It almost looks wet on the eyelid. I mean, I can't stop looking. I mean, look at this. Come on gorgeous it is so so gorgeous i love the name defiance i remember samantha ravendall was talking about how she wanted to name each one of them words that tend to be used in a negative way towards women and kind of take back the word make it a more positive word i think defiance is great for that it's gorgeous no fallout like I was so shook to the core the first time I used it with just my finger, I tapped it on and I didn't have any fallout the rest of the day when I washed my face at the end of the night and there wasn't glitter everywhere, when it wasn't getting in my lashes, when my eyes weren't getting irritated. <sighs> this is so phenomenal. I haven't even used the cream yet. I won't even lie to you guys. I haven't even used the cream side of it yet. I've only used the powder and it is amazing. This is just the powder over like a little bit of bronzer I threw on my eyes. Look how pretty that is. Oh, amazing. So I have this guy right here. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pen in the shade Soft Brown. The bushy brow is back, guys. People aren't really doing the, you know, the full constructed brow as much anymore. This is what I have in my brows today is just this brow pen and some clear brow gel. Now, that being said, I do kind of already have a more full natural brow, but... This is amazing. I also have this on my face. I kind of just went over all of the kind of moles and stuff I already have my face and dotted this over it. I have used this also to do like faux freckles across the face. So beautiful. The shade Soft Brown mixes perfectly with my natural hair color. It doesn't smudge. It doesn't get everywhere. It has a really nice fine tip to it. You can see here and the tip is pretty wet. Let me do... Oh, I didn't even touch my hand one of those so it isn't completely opaque it's not going to go on super strong super dark it does go on a little bit more sheer but i find for the brows that that works really nicely as well as if you're doing faux freckles that works really nicely it also doesn't kind of look like you got like sharpie brow going on here really easy to work with anastasia makes great brow products that's just like one of the best things that they do really really love this guy brow pens are super hot right now faux freckles are super hot right now this is a really really good really easy product to use been just loving it i've been loving it for my brows it's super quick super easy been loving throwing on a few freckles a few little moles so cute so nice another thing about this product that i do really like is sometimes i find with brow pens or more liquidy brow products that throughout the day like if you get sweaty or you know it kind of just mixes with the other liquids on your face they can kind of smear and get a little muddy on your face I haven't had any issues with this at all I haven't had any smearing or weirdness it comes off really nicely it's really easy to work with so I definitely recommend this guy if you are looking into a brow pen I want to quickly talk about these eyeshadow sticks from About Face Beauty. This is Halsey's beauty line. I did a full review on About Face on my channel like four-ish videos ago. These were probably my favorite product that I tried. I have two of them here. This is in the shade Creature and this is in the shade Acidic. I love that the shade is the same on the component as it is on the inside. 
The only complaint I have about these is they really are hard to take off. Like they are budge proof, smudge proof. I think bulletproof is like the word they use on the website. These were so hard to take off of my lower lash line that I kind of had like blue on my eyes for a few days because I really had to like go in there with makeup remover and it still wasn't coming off. So if you are a fan of a shadow stick and you're worried about it kind of like smudging or creasing or you know wearing off throughout the day these will not do that at all they are amazing i am going to pick up a couple more shades of them i especially love this one right here in acidic it's just a beautiful chartreuse color amazing they're just hard to take off so be aware of that i have a new mascara to talk to you guys about this is the covergirl lash blast clean mascara so i am a huge fan of the lash blast i have used Lash Blast. I cannot stand the name. It's like too hard for me to say over and over again since it came out, since like the original orange tube. It is the same uh, formula, the same kind of everything it's saying. It'll give you volume, length, blast your lashes. Okay. But it is a clean formula. So it's without, I think, parabens and phthalates, you know, all that stuff that everyone's doing a clean formula for now. Really, really nice. It's a mascara I have on today. You can really build it up and give yourselves like a nice full long lash. I just think it's a really great drugstore mascara. I don't feel like I hear a lot of people talking about it and I've been really into it. It's what I'm wearing right now. It's what I've been wearing a lot recently and I just really like it. It's easy to remove. It does, I will say, I am a huge fan of this. I do really like it, but I will say if you have this mascara on for like 10 hours like if you're going a full day with this mascara it is going to flake if you only are having it on for you know like four or five hours it's fine but if you're doing like a long haul a full day you're gonna get a little bit of flakiness which I don't love but I don't mind seeing as I don't usually wear my makeup for that long as it is so if you're looking for a nice clean mascara this one is really really good so let's talk about the lip that I have on right now it's a combination of these two guys right here from Lunar Beauty the Lunar Beauty liquid lipstick in Zaya and I am not a liquid lipstick person. Okay, like I do not like liquid lipsticks I don't like a matte lip. I feel like they're too dry. I don't need something that stays on that long Like it's just not for me This is the most comfortable liquid lipstick I have ever worn it almost literally feels like a tube Lipstick It's such a beautiful terracotta e color. I love the packaging on here. I just think it is so beautiful I love the little diamond in the lid. I love the ombre tube like I said, this is in the shade Zaya. So comfortable on the lips. Ridiculously comfortable, even without a gloss on top. Lasts all day. Super easy to put on. Super thin and lightweight feeling. Almost feels like you're putting like water on or something. Gorgeous. And then I have that top, the Lunar Beauty Lip Gloss in Aura. Amazing. Same packaging, except for, for the lip gloss here, you have a white to clear ombre. <sighs> This combo I'm obsessed with. The lip gloss goes so nicely over the liquid lipstick. It doesn't cause any bleeding, any smudging, any stickiness. It is a very nice lightweight lip gloss, but still really shiny and beautiful. This combination, I just <sighs> blew my mind. I'm in love with it. I'm obsessed with it. I have this guy right here from Pacifica that I have been loving. Spencer actually picked this up for me randomly when he was at the store. This is their, uh, what is this called? glow oil glow lip oil in the shade pale sunset let me just open it up for you it almost looks like jello or something okay has a really nice kind of vanilla scent to it and it is exactly what it says it is it is a glowy lip oil now this is a very you know pungent bright red in the tube here it takes a lot for you to build it up to that color it goes on extremely sheer now you can really kind of work it onto your lips and build it up to that nice rosy red color but i don't really find that it comes on like that immediately they have quite a few shades in this so comfortable such a nice lip oil if you have no makeup on or if you're going for very minimal makeup throw this on the lips you can even put a little bit on the cheeks it gives you a nice dewy glow super comfortable it doesn't give you that like white rim around your lips or like spread everywhere a lot of times when something has the word oil in it i immediately think like oh it's gonna go everywhere like it's gonna slip and slide everywhere i'm gonna hate it this is not like that at all super comfortable super nice pacifica i really really love for makeup and skincare products and this is another really nice product i've been seeing them advertise this a lot lately i think the packaging is cute it's kind of clear i've been just like kind of keeping this in my purse and throwing it over lipsticks or using it under a mask because I really haven't been wearing lipstick like that much because if you're wearing a mask like what's the point super cute 
really, really love this. And that is it. Those are all of my recent beauty favorites. Please let me know in the comments down below if you've tried any of these products, any of your new favorites. I'm always on the hunt to try new things out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel. I post here, well, I try to post here every Tuesday and Friday. So thanks a lot and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.